So this is the block diagram of uh, digital signal processing system. So we have an uh, anti-aliasing filter, sample and whole circuit, quantization, uh, discrete time system or DSP processor we have, and once again we have a uh, DAC system and deconstruction filter. So X of T is the input to the system, and uh, we are going to get Y of T as the output of the system. The signal X of T is generated by a transducer in response to a physical variable at its input. So X of T is the input for the system and the physical variable may be, it may be speech, pressure, temperature, etc. X of T is embedded with background noise, it has some noise and the noise may be generated within the transducer. An anti-aliasing filter is used to eliminate these knots. So whatever the noise is there in input X of T, it is removed by anti-aliasing filter. The continuous time signal CTS is converted into discrete time signal DTS by means of ADC, analog to digital converter. The discrete time signal or DSP processor operates on the signal X of N and produces a new, new discrete time signal Y of N. So output is Y of N. The discrete time signal Y of N is converted into continuous time signal Y of T once again with the help of reconstruction filter. So this filter is used to eliminate the high frequency components which are present in the output of digital analog number. Now we are going to discuss some of the advantages of our DSP system. So first one is computers or DSP processors can be made accurate to the required degree by choosing their word length according to the desired accuracy. And next one is the sensitivity of DSP processors to electrical noise is uh, quite low. So electrical noise is quite low and digital storage is less expensive and flexible. That means we can store either in terms of zeros or in terms of ones. Change in processing function can be made through changes in programming. So if we need to change any processing functions directly we can change it in the programming. Digital information can be enhanced to have security and privacy through special coding techniques. So we can store any digital information by uh, giving passwords to the systems. What are the disadvantages of DSP systems? So system complexity is increased because of analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter and other associated circuits. So because of ADC and DAC, the complexity may increase. Power consumption is more because almost all blocks of DSP system requires DC power supply. So because of our DC power supply, power consumption is more. And the speed of operation is limited by the sampling. So we have sample and whole circuits. So it is limited by the speed of the operation is limited by the sampling. Also, the function of sample and whole circuit and analog to digital converter sets an upper limit on the speed of the operation. Then what are the applications of the AC systems? So we can use it in telecommunications, that means for echo cancellation in telephone network, in modems, in cell phones, in video conferencing and fax machines, uh, we can use DSP systems. And in like consumer electronics, that means digital audio and video, electronic toys and FM studio, we can use this type of system. And instrumentation and control also we can use for the spectrum analysis, 
digital filter, uh, robot control, process control, and in the application of image processing, diagnostic instruments such as CT scanner, MRI scanner, spectrum analysis of ECG or EKG, patient monitoring, and speech processing, speech and processing also we can use, and in military uh, radar signal processing and navigation system also. Uh, we can use these type of systems.